Hey everybody, this is a very exciting day, an exciting moment. I'm about to vote and I thought I would share with you how I'm voting because I've been voting by mail for years. And you'll see that it is, uh, it's not as tough as a lot of folks think. All right, we have, first of all, the I voted sticker, right? So this is, this is the ballot, a set of instructions. Each state has a different set of forms and requirements. So it's really important for you to read the directions carefully. There's instructions, make your voice count. The first thing, vote your ballot front and back. The presidential election gets all the attention. But in fact, oftentimes you're gonna have a bunch of local races. To vote, fill in the oval as shown in the picture to the right. Can't just do a check or an X, that won't count. The first person to vote for is my favorite candidate for president and vice president. Generally, I don't share my ballot. In this case though, I think you all know, I'm voting for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. So, and I'm just gonna keep on doing this, going through each candidate. You may find that some of these local races, you don't know what they mean. You don't know who might be the most qualified. A lot of times what you can do is find some news source or information source that you trust, or there's an organization in your community that reflects your views or cares about your issues. A lot of times they'll give you a voter guide and they can tell you, you know, here are the various candidates and what they stand for so that you're informed when you're actually filling out the rest of your ballot. Even a former president of the United States sometimes finds this really handy. So that's just a tip for all you guys. I'm now reviewing my ballot to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Looks like I've got everything covered. I now take the ballot, fold it nicely, it's sort of. I now have this thing, the envelope it has to go in. But all of this is on this instruction sheet. I'm sliding it up in there, all right? I put it in the envelope, I've sealed it. On the front, it says, you must fill in my name. So that's Barack Obama, printed it legibly. And now the last step, mail your ballot return envelope through the United States Postal Service or deliver your ballot return envelope at one of the Chicago election board's early voting secured drop boxes. I'm going to mail it. That's it, which then rewards me with my cool sticker. They, all, they have also instructions for how to peel the sticker that I didn't really actually have to read. There you go. How about that? That's all it takes, everybody. Make a plan, vote early, make sure your friends, family, coworkers, neighbors, Everybody has a plan because this is part of our responsibility as a democracy. This is what's going to end up making uh, it easier for us to get health care to people. This is what's going to end up uh, allowing us to solve big problems like climate change or reform our criminal justice system. It's not a lot and you saw how long it took me. So make sure that you are exercising your power in this election, and if you need more information about it, go to IWillVote.com.